we both know why you're here. But I bet you're wondering what the hell a hot ass and a default cube have in common. It's one word cavity. We love it in real life and we love it in Blender. It creates these awesome highlights that make everything look better. Let me show you. Cavity is an incredible option in Blender. It's very simple and very easy to enable. But once you do, you're gonna see instant improvement in your modeling. And the reason for it is very simple, okay? You're gonna see your model well-defined with all the edges very visible and it clearly shows the design language which helps you to basically progress through modeling stages. Now, funnily enough, I'm actually talking about it in our free course, which is called the Jumpstart Hard Surface for Blender, which teaches all the UI settings, all the hard surface modeling tricks, rendering tricks, basically all the basics of Blender in just four hours. So if you're interested, grab it, it's free, and the link is in your video description. We have nearly 80,000 students in that course right now, and they're absolutely smashing it. So let me add a default cube here, and I'll show you what I mean. If I'm going to rotate this cube to this kind of an angle, you can see clearly that uh, these two faces almost blend together. You can barely see this edge, almost non-existent, right? This is extremely difficult for modeling because you can barely see what you're doing. You cannot see how your shape evolves. So now cavity is going to fix that and it's a really easy trick, okay? All you need to do is go here and enable cavity. And instantly you can see these beautiful ridges here that are going to uh, define your cube. Now, of course, what you can do, you can play with settings, you can increase the intensity of the ridge, which I wouldn't really do. I would just give it a default. And these are values. OK, so if I'm going to have um, a boolean here, so let me just shift D that to run a quick boolean and uh, let me just cut this. All right. Boom. Right. And let me hide the cutter. So now here in this um, corner, you can see that it's called valley. So if I'm going to go back to my settings, I can actually increase the intensity of it. Also leave it at uh, one, which is a default value. And then on top of this, you have uh, three different settings here. You have screen, world and both. Now, honestly, I don't use these because they make the faces look a little bit dirty and disgusting. I really don't like this shit. So I'm keeping it at default, uh, which is basically um, just the screen. So just these ridges and these valleys, all right? Now, if you're using hard ops and box cutter, it's really simple because all you need to do is simply, uh, when we're gonna add a cube here, all you need to do is press Alt V with hard ops and add cavity and you're done. Now, once you add cavity in your blender, what you wanna do, you wanna clean your scene, right? Clean your collection. So let's just nuke this, okay? So delete that. And with this cavity enabled here, right? What you wanna do is go here to file, and defaults and save start a file and click on save and when you open blender next time your cavity is going to be enabled by default so go ahead and enable it try it out i think you're going to really enjoy it and again guys go ahead and check this jumpstart course which is a free course and it's really fantastic and if you are new to blender this is the best way to learn basics of blender in no time you could literally learn how to model hard surface in blender in just a few hours. Take it easy, I'll see you in the next one.